What's up, Internet? This is part two of I'm buying a $2 million house and how I'm going to write it off. In my incitement and enthusiasm, I forgot the tax strategy. That's what we're going to do today. If you want to get a free t-shirt, what you have to do is give me your number, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment on the video. The best comment wins a t-shirt. So that's how that goes. Hey, this is Glendon Cameron, founder of Hustlers Kung Fu. If you want to learn how to hustle, if you want to learn how to start a business, if you want to learn how to develop that generational wealth, subscribe to this channel. Player, do it. You won't regret it. So let's talk about some things that you need to do to prep yourself for this strategy. Now, this is something that many people don't know, even though it's blatantly staring them in the face. If you have a YouTube channel, use your house for your YouTube channel. The part of the YouTube channel that you use for your house or the part of your house that you use for your YouTube channel, you can write that off legitimately. If you have your channel set up as a business, if you have an LLC, if you do a lot of videos in that space, yes, you can write that off. Yes, my friends, you can do that. Literally, and I've been meaning to create a course and what I'm gonna do is make it part of creating videos, links below, the tax strategy, and I'm gonna outline it, and you can check with your CPA and all this other stuff, and it's good. You create a YouTube channel, create an LLC to put the YouTube channel in. You get your EIN number, and you set up your business checking, and you have a niche or a focus or something. Because the reason most folks don't know this is they're not trying to pay taxes, they're trying to fly under the radar and stuff like that. If you use 50% of your house to create your YouTube videos, you can legitimately write off 50% of your house as your YouTube business if you have it all set up correctly. If you're doing sole prop, probably not going to work so well if you get audited. You could do it. If you get audited, what's your thing? And I'm going to give you some more stuff. Like, uh, as you can see, I'm in Monty today because I know my haters are like, he don't have that car. He got a big, big old car. No, yes, he does. Actually, I have no car notes, but continue to hate. Monty, well, Thor, this is Monty. Thor is the BMW, is in the company's name. I bought it, it is titled in Magnetic Media. Now, that, everything I do to that is a write-off. Essentially, I make videos in Thor. I use Thor to take places. I use Thor to take stuff to places. I'm gonna actually pick up some stuff from Ikea in Thor. It is a legitimate company vehicle. And I make videos in it. I'm making videos in Monty. Because Thor is a corporate vehicle. Thor has corporate deductions and the weight and size has a lot to do with that too. This house that you saw, and you should go check out the first video, is 2.3 million. I'm gonna be able to write off 100% or at least 50% and I'm gonna tell you why. I am going to use the whole house as a studio. I'm gonna shoot a show in the house. It'll be indisputable proof that the house is used for business purposes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, yep. So house is 2.3 million. At a minimum, I'll be able to write off 1.150,000. Yep. How do we get there and why do we want to put this house in the corporation? All right, time to confess. I got a little situation. I can't really own anything. Can't do it. But I can manage a lot. The house goes in the corporation, which is in the trust fund, which is for my kids. So that's one of the reasons I'm doing it. Plus, also from a generational wealth standpoint, when I pass on and take the dirt nap and they inherit the house, since they already own it, there are no probate taxes. There's no probate. There's nothing. It's just, oh, he's not on the LLC anymore because he's deceased. That's it. So there, there's a lot more to it but I'm giving you the overview because you gotta set this stuff up right. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. And let's get back in the goal setting. If you're gonna write your goals out, you need to write them out by hand. You need to write them on a sheet of paper. You need to review your goals often. You need to review what you want often because what it does is give you an unparalleled amount of power because this year, I have accomplished every goal that I set out. I like really have smashed some, some I just went a little over, feeling like, wow, I can do anything, right? And that's why I made this goal. $2.3 million for a house paid in cash, that's a lot of money. But once again, let's talk about that. 
let's say next year goes the way that I want it, a million or two in the bank. Now, I got a situation with that money. Depending upon how I leave it in the corporation and depending upon what bank account it is, and the bank account must be labeled, I could possibly carry that over, but I have a feeling, just a feeling, that it's gonna benefit me more to spend it. So let's say I have 1.5 million in the bank. I would probably pull the trigger on the house, and even if I had to carry a small mortgage, and this is why. Depending upon the tax code, there, there's so many little gotchas. I'll have to review the code and look at it, but if this is the way that I believe it is now, I know someone in the comments will correct me like, no, you can't do that, man, you can't do that. No, they gonna come and get you. You can write off over five years, or you can write it off in one year, how that goes. But anywho, I, I will sit down with my CPA and we'll go over it. But I will get that money out of that account into something. If I buy the house under the Mac Daddy Media, and also I would create another child corporation. I actually probably should do that now. And I'll, I'll explain that, you know, you got a parent corporation, you got a child corporation. You've got, uh, let's say Thor. Thor is in Mac Daddy Media. It's, it's under the corporation Mac Daddy Media. I, Thor is a vehicle, and Thor is exposed to a lot of risk. Now, he's in, he's not in Mac Daddy property. There will be a Mac Daddy property that the house will be in because let's say something happens and I get sued. So Thor's at risk and the company's at risk. But the property, since it's not part of the Grand Collective, is not at risk. So you got to separate your LLCs. You got to um, make sure I don't know why I just did that. It's just fun. But you got to make sure that all of your stuff is squared away. And there's a certain way you have to do this with the parent corp and the child corps. You have to do it. If you don't do it this way, it doesn't work as well. I, I suppose you'd be protected, but I'm not sure. Ooh. You know, both Monty and Thor drive so differently because this is kind of working out like Thor is the everyday car, the going to the office car, and Monty's kind of like the weekend car, because like right now, I am getting some tires, I'm getting some rims put on Thor. And it's tax deductible, because Thor's a corporate vehicle. I can't tell you how excited I am. I might even get that throw the exhaust. But essentially, this is my POV, Monty, and Thor's the corporate. So I'm not going to be able to deduct expenses. You only have, you can only deduct miles or expenses, but I'm going to deduct expenses because from a mileage point, I don't really live that far from my office. I mean, I put literally 8,000 miles on the car in a year. Actually, that's not true. I put like seven. Everything that you do for a corporate vehicle, whether it's repairs, modifications, it's tax deductible. Now, what is this? How does this help you? Because you're not going to buy a $2.3 million house. I am not so obtuse to forget about you. Essentially, what you do is take the information from this video and you crank it down to your level. Let's say you're a guy named Sue. That's a song, right? You have $150,000. You buy a $150,000 house and you set up your YouTube channel and all this other stuff that will be in creating videos, of course. You know, create videos that make money. Because I will spell this out in the blatant details. Then you, you have a $150,000 house, you have a car, you put in the YouTube channel. So all of these assets are not yours, but now they go from being not tax deductible to being tax deductible. So essentially, you can make $150,000, $200,000, 300000 and because of the appropriate allocation of resources, you pay virtually no federal tax. You'll still have to pay, you know, state and all this other stuff. Could you could you imagine if your tax bill was only 15%? Could you live with that? Put that in the comments. Could you live with if you're what would you do with your money if you were only paying 15% in taxes? What would you do? Can you can you see the possibilities? And this is why I feel that YouTube is just beginning because there's so many people who don't properly set up their YouTube channel. YouTube is for kids. YouTube's for fun. Man, that's not a real business model. Man, what, are, what you talking about, Glendon? You can't make no money with YouTube. Playboy? Tell us the real deal. I know it ain't this YouTube channel. It's the YouTube channel. 
and it's the intellect behind the YouTube channel. That's the tax strategy where I can live multi-million now, actually multi-million dollar house, and legitimately write off a lot of stuff. Bless America. God bless the tax code. Because this is another thing. All this overhaul and tax reform, even if they get some passed, it's not going to take effect for years. And I don't think they're going to get it passed. I think we're going to have the same old taxism, which I think is great because I know how to play the game. And if you're not playing the game, the game is playing you. That's just reality. But once again, if you're not playing the game, the game is playing you. And all of this hoofra and, yeah, we're going to get the tax reform through it. It's not going to happen. If it does, okay, I'll adjust my strategy. But I don't think it's going to happen. If you play the game and use these things like I've told you to, that you can save yourself a lot of money, you can put yourself up in good stead, okay? So now I'm about to jump off into the day's offer. That's right, every day that I do a video, I do an offer that lasts for 24 hours. So knowing how I'm gonna be doing this, if you don't have your money ready, you best be getting some money ready because you're gonna miss out and it's gonna be crazy because remember, Hustle Camp started at $99. It's now selling for $27.50. Hello, can you smell a deal? Creating a video that makes money on YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram. How to shoot and edit video, stage one of video marketing. Let's get into this. Items required for the live class, November 18th through 19th. You need a laptop, you need a camera, that's not your phone, and you need editing software. And you probably need a tripod. I'll put that in there later. So I've come up with a list. Picking your channel niche. How to create thumbnails. How to tell a story. How to write a script. How to use current events in your video. How to pick a topic. How to monetize your YouTube channel outside of the YouTube. Huge, 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 huge. Because, you know, if I was only using YouTube, I would make between 600 and 2,500 bucks per month. Doing the same thing I'm doing now. It's kind of crazy. How the storyboard, camera selection, lighting, editing, software, browsers feature, editing, shot selection, how to use music, how to buy music and photos, extremely important. Intros, bumpers, and outros, 18-step video format to sell products, YouTube tax strategy. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen topics. All right, so we've gotten to the final price. And oh, I am offering a payment plan. Yes, payment plan. So what's going to happen is for those who get in today, I am going to create a coupon. Matter of fact, let's do it now. So let's see, let's come in here, let's go to a coupon. Let's get rid of that. Yep, we can delete that. So we'll do a new coupon, this course only. And we're gonna do percentage. And we're gonna do 50% off and just go 50 off we'll call it 50 off and this will expire all right so that's the coupon so you want 50 off today now what I am about to do and let's see let's go to hustle camp and let's go to my courses. And let's go to bundles. Let's go here. If you buy Hustle Camp for $2,000, and how do you do that? You go under the video, and I will actually show you in the video how you do it as if my internet will move on. Oh, so we'll go here. This is what you do. Perfect, because you're going to contact Patty.
but you're going to come down here because this will be in under this video. It's just not done yet, so I can't show it to you. But you will come in here. You will use this. You will pay me $2,000. Then Patty will hook you up on both platforms. Once again, you come here, you put $2,000 you could put for goods or services. Then Patty will contact you. Patty will set you up. Now, Patty's hours are 11 a.m. to 7 p.m. So if you make your purchase after those times, she'll probably do it the next day because we don't work 24 hours. I know we should, but we just are human. We're carbon based life forms. So I don't know how that's going to work out. But 11 a.m. to 7 p.m. And she will, you know, if you do it during those hours, she'll hook you up. If you do it after those hours, she will hook you up the next day. So once again, use this link. Pay me two thousand dollars and Patty will set you up with Hustle Camp and with uh, this. So that is your deal to, for today. You can get 50 percent off of this course, which is seven hundred and fifty dollars. There ain't nothing there yet. Uh, I will start adding content to it because we're going to do the live stuff. But. This will be very powerful. This will be crazy over the top value because you go ahead and you start a YouTube channel and I'm going to peep you to something. The course here is worth this alone. What if you could save 6,000, 8,000, 10,000 or for you ballers who are making like 100K, 20 G's. The YouTube strategy will be dope. So even if you just start a YouTube channel for fun and kicks by following my YouTube strategy, you can save off your taxes from your J-O-B. Now, how cool is that? Now, that's slick, right? So that's today's offer. It expires because this video is going to drop. Probably the day, <laughs> probably the day. So that's why I went a little longer. Uh, the day is Wednesday, so it will expire Friday because I don't know what time all this stuff is going to do what it needs to do. So it'll expire Friday. So you've got two options. You can get 50 percent off of this course, which is seven hundred fifty dollars, or you can spend two thousand and get hustle camp and this course. Pick it, player. Make it do what they do. And uh I will see you guys later on the interwebs.